Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Sanch here, your host of the Bodybuilding News Network. I want to thank everyone who watched the recent live stream. We unboxed like 40 or 50 something reprints of some of my favorite bodybuilding photos of all time and we will be bringing those to the arnold classic so thank you for everyone but in this video we're going to be talking about none other <clears throat> none other than 212 top 11 olympia competitor ping yun long and his decision to move from 212 after placing 11th like i said to the men's open bodybuilding division now, the footage you're seeing now was before the Olympia, around 230 pounds, and this was four weeks, from what I understand, four weeks out from the Olympia. So to think that he looked this good in this condition with that much separation, uh, four weeks out, and around 230 pounds really makes you wonder how competitive he would be in an open show. Now, this is a China native gentleman, a competitor out of the uh, eastern side of China, and uh, he won the Thailand Pro in his 212, I believe it was his debut, correct me if I'm wrong, of course, ladies and gentlemen. So for him to move into the open, unfortunately for the 212, you know, they're losing a, a potential very successful up and coming uh, competitor in the 212 division, but a huge win for men's open bodybuilding as we continue to see more and more competitors move from classic to 12. Uh, I don't think a lot of men's physique, but moving to the open division and really adding some depth and some, some serious talent. So I'm happy for the guy. I really love his structure, his lines. I think you put him with an extra 20 or 30 pounds on him. Uh, as long as he doesn't blow the lines out, you, you put him next to someone like, um, Keon or heck, I mean, he has the condition, put him next to Sean Clarita, see what happens. But looking at this Olympia footage, I wasn't too happy with what the, what presentation he brought, the package he brought, uh, that flight from China must've really just butchered him because he looked like he was retaining a lot of water. It definitely looks like he has a pretty thick film over everything. Uh, and that really is unfortunate. I mean, the guy looks so good. Or he looked so good coming into the, into the prep just four weeks out. I thought he looked stage ready. Uh, so for him to have to, you know, one, suck down to the 212, you know, an extra 15 plus pounds, it's going to do it. It's going to it's gonna hurt the physique. You could overly fatigue the body uh, and it could ruin those beautiful, beautiful lines. So a lot of things could have happened, but I'm really happy to see him move to the open. Another guy that is moving to the open and has already done an open show, he, he did not place very well, I think it was the Texas pro, is uh, hostile athlete Nathan Epler. Now, this guy, super cool dude. I was able to briefly talk with him at the Olympia. Uh, hopefully, we can get him on the channel. He definitely said he'd be available. So, uh, Mr. Epler, if you're available, man, uh, would love to have you on the channel. Definitely let us know um, or I'll let you know. I'll message you. But He's moving from the 212, placing fourth at his first Mr. Olympia in the 212, moving to men's open bodybuilding. I mean, this dude is so, he's going to be so deadly in the men's open. Uh, the lines, the proportions, he's he's 5'9", I believe. And for him to have to suck down to 212, he, he lost so much muscle. So for him to be able to come into an open show maybe this year uh, without those um, those shackles of the weight cap. I think he's going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with. There's so many fun and good competitors from the 212 that have moved up to the open, uh, or uh, yeah, to the open. You got, um, Tony Burton, Nathan Epler, obviously, uh, Mr. Ping Yun Long just recently, like we talked about in the beginning of the video. Uh, and then you have people like, uh, Angel Calderon, who's competing in the open, Kamal's done the open. Sean Clarita might be doing the open at the Arnold Classic. So love the 212 division. Really excited to see where the 212 division goes in 2023. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on the 212 moving into open. If there's any other athletes that you want to have featured on the Bodybuilding News Network, definitely let me know. But I'm your host, Josh Sanch. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another one.